Hi, I'm Heather, one of the nurses at Plastic Surgery Specialists and the director of the OR. I'm going to do a little video demonstration on how to empty your Foley catheter and remove it at home when it's time. This is what your Foley catheter looks like. This is what is in your bladder. There's a balloon that blows up that holds it in place. So when it's time to empty your Foley at home, it's okay to let your bag go all the way full. What you're gonna do also to make sure is it's always draining by gravity. If you have it at the same height as your bladder, it can back up into your bladder. So when you are ready to empty your Foley, you're gonna go to your toilet in your bathroom, unhook this clip right here, and then you make sure that's unhooked and you just drain it right into the toilet. And then when it's all drained, clip it and rehook it. You are welcome to remove your Foley catheter at any time at home. You do not need to leave it in for a long time if you are up and feeling great and moving around. The max amount of time you can keep this in is three days. You will only get a Foley catheter for tummy tucks or body lifts. Most likely for any other surgery, you will not have to worry about having one. If you are one that has one, when it is time to take it out, I will show you how to remove it. You will be sent home with a 10 cc syringe. That's how much sterile fluid goes in the balloon that blows up in your bladder. When it is time to remove it, you come over and you there's this little piece. You're gonna stick the syringe in there and you're gonna pull back all 10 cc's and get all the sterile water out. Once, once all the 10 cc's are out, you unhook it and then you just gently pull it out of your bladder. You can make sure all the urine's empty and throw it in your garbage.